So yesterday I hit Legend, and not just Legend, but I had such a win streak going into it that I hit a pretty high number, which is good. Um, there's no way I can hold on to any number which isn't number one this early on though, I think. And I was thinking before the stream, if I were to hit rank one, would I keep playing? I think the answer to that is it kind of depends on how split up rank one is from everyone else. It also depends on how sustainable I think this win streak is. Is the deck really just generally that good? Probably something I should look into before I even start today. Because it is possible that this deck just counters Nostum really well. Before I start, let me, I guess, take a look at the record from yesterday. Yesterday I went 15 and 2. Played against Nostum six times. Which means I went 9 and 2. That's still good though. The light shall bring victory. I will fight with honor. Priest. I'm gonna start playing around Light Bomb more. I think one of the losses yesterday was to a priest. Yes, it was. Greetings. Well met. Reporting for duty. Is someone injured? Hmm. Trades the coin in for a card and a health. Wonder if I should play the Aldor here. I think so. Follow the rule. Chow too powerful. Kill the acolyte in the north side. The damned stand ready. Okay, so I'm gonna get a 50 50 on killing the dark cultist. I would be vulnerable to Holy Nova. Is it worth it to do it? Other plays are all unexciting. Now I'm gonna save it with the quartermaster. Well, no. I'll get Holy Nova, that's okay. It's not okay, but... For and I have to make sure to attack first. That's like an instant Holy Nova if you have it. Oh, nope, doesn't have it. That's very good. This will force the light bomb if he has it. That's a good knife. The battle! The battle! Right on time, BGH. You're a pretty good guy. Good guy, BGH. I like you. In my experience, has Light Bomb increased in popularity as of late? Yes, that's why I actually take note of it now. It serves a very similar purpose to the Brawl of Warrior. Pretty interesting. I 
Let me change your mind. Four, six, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, technically not lethal. What a fighter. Well played. I'll give him a well played. Maybe he'll concede. Nope. It was worth a try, right? I have no time for him. Uh, he's activated try hard mode, I think. When you try to buff him out of the game and they don't leave, they really want to win after that. to win. Uh-oh. We're gonna have to play the zombie chat, I think. Instead of a one health guy? Why? For justice. Why, why, why? Three. Follow the rule. Report your orders, men. I have the great equalizer, but. In the light's name. Might be tough. To equalize this board. What if he's got a mind control? Well, if he does, I just don't have to play Tyrion. So Tyrion is possibly my worst draw. And it's possibly my best draw. And it's really hard to tell which one it is. Duty call. It's one of them. It's really hard to know which one it is. And also, I can position myself perfectly to get Holy Novid. Duty call. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I can actually save a guy. That's useful. The battle. For justice. Yeah. Okay, I can make the guys. It's looking good. Embrace the void. Oh, no circle number two. Holding these two cards for some time. Tyrion. So I won't play Tyrion. Uh, excuse me. For justice. Eleven should be safe. In case you run Balin plus Mind Blast. I myself think it's more likely that it's, uh... Mind control. And that it's only one mind blast in deck. 
but sometimes you'd never know. Sometimes you just don't know. He'll die when he's 10 mana and 3 cards, having done nothing on that turn. It's definitely mind control. I will fight with honor. Tough matchup. I'm actually suddenly reminded that the main reason that I have continued to play Paladin is because I haven't run into many oil rogues. I have to feel the winds and make sure that they stay down. I think I have to choose silver it. Use the coin. So this is okay, I guess. It's not very exciting for me. But it'll have to do. Coin's pretty good for rogue. Prep sprint. Alright, we got a tough game here. Wait, maybe that's fortunate. That's actually really good. Blocks the... well... I think that's good. It has its pros and cons. I have no time for games. I don't see myself winning this one. It's too many cards. That's too slow. My hand doesn't look like it can finish the job. My best chance is probably hard controlling his board. That's going to be difficult with the hands I have, the cards I have. Probably play the Black Knight next turn. So many options. <laughs> this guy's toast. The good news is that isn't his ideal answer, I believe. For justice. There's no way I play Monster for Battle into Batamanic cards. There's always a fan. There's commonly a fan. I'll have to save it with Quartermaster. Which will probably get Blade Flurried, but at least then Blade Flurry will be gone. Even the 1 1 bomb can be scary with oil. I think I just go for face though. All my guys are just going to die to Flurry, though. What if I were to Consecration, send the 4 and the 1 in here. First Aldor, send the 4 and the 1, then Consecration. That might be best. I think that is best. Then again, he is at a 16. Dealing 5 might put some serious pressure on him. But all my guys are just going to die. And then I'm never going to be able to deal with this. And then he'll put the oil on it, and then I'll just lose. So I have to clear it. Dr. Boom is a little non-standard in that deck. Tiny bit. Oh, Blade Story. That's good for me. Okay, this always gets sapped. I have no answer to this guy. Maybe I lay on hands? The sap is just too good. Yeah, I can't play Tyrion. Not now. Should I play Zombie Chow? I can't burst him down fast enough. Let's play it. 
I think it's easier to win against Demon Lock with Paladin than against Old Hand Lock. Yes. I mean, it depends on the Paladin deck you have. This Paladin deck isn't very good against Hand Lock. Darn, BGH would have been really good. Him hitting that on Blood Mage Thanos would have been really good. So sad. Too bad. I think I just owl the uh, Drake. gonna beat me down old school style. I have no answer to that. For justice, none something new. Dr. Boom, Assassin's Blade. Slightly different flavor. Either way you pan it, this matchup sucks. The rogues are coming back, then this is the beginning of the end for me. And it is surprisingly okay. It's weak, but most hands are weak against rogue. Well met. Reporting for duty. Tough call between playing the knife juggler and this guy. The guy just gets stabbed, but I can play knife juggler plus guy next turn. <laughs> guy didn't get stabbed, so it turned out to be a good move. Going to turn 5, Rogue's got to be a little bit scared. These guys are going to become big guys, medium guys. Pay attention, class. Is he going to think about killing a guy? He thought about it. I wonder what my spreadsheet says this matchup is in terms of favorability. I have it at 35%. That looks about right. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Ah, three. I really should take that weapon while it's there.
if it means getting hit by for one if it means getting hit once by Lothem, so be it. Earthen plus Eviscerate is my guess. Well, guess. <laughs> this guy's toast. Oh, that's way better than expected for me. Oh, he traded. I would have traded. Oh, but I would have had an Eldor. Hmm. For justice. It's my choice of Piloted Shredder plus a guy, or plus Aldor, or Sludge Repulcher plus a guy. It's actually looking okay right now for me. Either way was looking pretty good. I think I can't afford, I can't um, spare time for guys, so I'll not make guys and play Belcher Acolyte next turn. Or Belcher Big Game Hunter. Maybe he plays Dr. Boom. And then I will have the boom in my sights. So many options. Nice, my four drop got sapped instead of the three drop. Instead of the five drop. Last warning. My hand is all minions, so it's very uh very one dimensional my play here. Or in one D. I have no time for games. But there were quite a lot of plays I could have made that turn. Well played. Did I just lose? Wow. What? There was four damage on the table. I'm a twenty-three. I'm a twenty-three. How is that even possible? That is the bluff. It's not over yet, right? Okay. Maybe it's well played, he loses. I've got the beast I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. Obviously, I was playing anti kill bot. Praise the heal bot. Oh, no, wait, maybe I always play Sludge Belcher. It's kind of a puzzle here. I know he's still got the coins, so he's only got one card left. That card would have to be exactly Eviscerate, which he hasn't played any of yet. Now, if I play the anti kill bot. I go up to Let me 12. Think. I still die to Eviscerate. So Sludge Belcher uh, loses to both, but deals with the knife the best way. Oh, but what if it's Blade Flurry? Well, I haven't seen any Blade Flurries yet. I should play Anti Killbot then. Well, if it's Blade Flurry, I lose anyways. Eh, not necessarily. Quickly. Mostly. If that attacks me, I can't really win. I can't kill him in time. So I'm gonna play Belcher. Yes, he sometimes has Blade Flurry, yes I sometimes lose, but that's okay. Because if I heal myself, I think I lose all the time, also. In the case I play the heal bot, my board gets wiped out and I lose anyways, so I figured this is better. I think it's still true. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Apprentice. Tempo, tempo mage. This is the best play I could come up with. Hopefully he doesn't have... No, there's no way there's an answer. Right? Even with that sorcerer's apprentice. Good, so the coin's been disposed of. I think against tempo mage I'm favored. Certainly with this opening, I think I'm favored. Magic will tear you <laughs> well played. 
My magic will tear you apart. The battle! Let's see. I don't think there's anything serious to silence in the attack. Usually. Justice. Although this is a really good trigger to mirror enemy. Maybe I should have kept it for that. That has some validity to it. Eh, this is a good trigger to mirror entity. 2-5. Eh, not that great. Not as good as a 2-1. He's slow in that, so... For justice. Not good. It's a knife juggler as my trigger. Murloc Raider. Basically lost in the game. If he loses. I don't think that deck runs Flame Strike. It's a lot slower than it usually would be, though. Okay, so this is usually a counter spell plus mirror entity. Explains the slowness of his deck, also. He's just had a poor draw, perhaps. Put this apple on your head. Put this apple on your head. In the case of Flame Strike, I'd rather make a guy and make an acolyte actually. Reporting for duty. The I can play around really unlikely cards like Flame Strike because I'm this far ahead. Doomsayer or bust. 